tell you to take a scene in a certain, in a certain way, and you're helped by your fellow actors who bring your character to life the more that they bring their characters to life. But sometimes, sometimes, I don't think I did have to work that much on the characterization. It just came into my head. And sometimes you're just lucky and you read a character on a script and something just clicks and you feel like, yeah, this feels so right. Other times you do have to prepare a lot. And when, when you're in those situations, I would recommend just reading the script over and over again, reading it with the other actors as much as possible, talking to the other actors about how they feel about their characters and the plot and just talking and talking and talking and thinking and thinking and thinking. And a, a little thing I like to do is, is think about what the character does when they're bored or think about what the character does when they've got nothing to do or like what do they think about first thing in the morning or what do they think about in the shower what do they think about when they're not thinking dramatic thoughts like that you usually see on TV and film and stage so try and like ground them in like boring stuff like what do they like to have in, in you know what don't they like what don't they like to eat in the morning and uh, what kind of annoys them just normal things that we all have in our day to day life and just try and think about those things Probably gonna, 
be an asshole, you know. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm glad that I wasn't a king when I was uh, when I was that age. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Because I I didn't see the ending. I didn't I didn't really watch Game of Thrones that much. Um, mainly at the start because I didn't like watching myself on screen. And then I just wasn't in tune with all of the plot lines. Then afterwards, and a lot of my friends watched it, and they were like, "You have to watch the final season." So I saw a few episodes, but obviously a lot of people were disappointed, and that's a shame. But. Uh, I guess it just went downhill ever since I left the show. You know? <laughs> that was the clue. Oh. Um, what did you think of the, the final season? Personally, I didn't like it. Yeah, I think a lot of people would agree. But uh, I suppose we have the prequel to look forward to, the new TV show, and maybe George R. R. Martin will write the book at some point and uh, um, yeah I mean it's it's always sad I don't know how you do endings endings are so hard like I guess Harry Potter was a pretty good ending I'm trying to think of like good endings and bad endings but uh, yeah I don't know what to say other than um, fucked up <laughs> Very straight, 
and then if you're wearing the crown, that's going to slip and slide. So you kind of, you're almost like forced to like walk like this, you know, even if you don't intend to. Um, so the costume can help a lot in terms of the characterization. And what else? Or even like, say, like sitting on the Iron Throne. Um, I guess it's kind of like, you know, I kind of had this kind of slouchy thing. But that was just because I didn't really fit on the throne. I couldn't, I couldn't like sit upright. So I kind of had to slouch. So sometimes things like that, they, uh, they just come out of the environment that you're in and you just adapt within it. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I absolutely have, and I love them. Which ones did you drink? I had, uh, forgive my pronunciation, uh, Steenink? Is that it? How do you, how do you say it? I, I don't think I know that one. Steen Ulke. Steen Ulke. Steen Ulke. Um, that was really nice. Um, there's another one that began with O U I can't remember. But they're all they're all so nice like. Uh, obviously like shoe had some shoe flats nice. Duval Chimay. The Duval crew are over there. <laughs> They've already had a few beers uh, this afternoon. Um, but like, I'm like a kid in a candy shop, you know, I just want to try every single one. There are too many! Too many beers! I can't try them all! Also Delirium, I mean, I don't know. The, the list goes on. Do you recommend anyone? I've heard Mass, uh, Mass is good. Yes, that's very good, but one of my favorites is called Temple Can Lead. Triple can lead. You'll have to write that down for me. Triple, triple can lead. Yes. Triple can lead. Okay. It's very good. I don't think I'll be able to say that after a few triple can lead. So <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. I mean, it's too, it's too hard to answer. Maybe anything, anything sci-fi or fantasy, you know. I really, really like sci-fi. Um, so, I'm trying to think of like, what's a good sci-fi? Obviously they remade, they remade Blade Runner recently. Um, I kind of, I almost like prefer the sci-fi aesthetic of the past, like, Obviously it's amazing, a film like Dune, you know, it has all of this, this, these beautiful shots, but my aesthetic is more like um, Labyrinth or something, like I, I really like, maybe if they, you know, I'd love to be in Labyrinth, say, you know, the, with David Bowie and Rachel Connolly, is that her name? Anyway, so something like an 80s science fiction, science fantasy. Oh, cool. Um, I listen to all kinds of music, really. Um, I listen to a lot of 90s indie, uh, like American grunge, indie rock. I also really like folk, like American folk, Irish folk, English folk. Um, I like hip hop, I like rap, I like, you know, harp music. I. I don't know. I don't know any Belgian. I don't know much Belgian music. Would you recommend any? No, I've never seen it. So you got a Wu Tang. You got a Wu Tang. Yeah, uh, in. Nice, man. Yeah, I'm a fan. So nice, nice. Um, all the Belgian music suck. I, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, it does. But like, we have some kind of music that's good when you're drunk. But otherwise, it just sucks. And like, lots of slaggers. That's what it's called. But it really sucks. <laughs> like, I love them as one of the best. Uh, in Belgium, you probably should try Stella. It's one of the best beers. Stella, I guess. I guess I do love Stella and I drink Stella all the time. But I can get Stella 
where I live, you know, in Dublin or in London. So I I, I drink a lot of Stella, but uh, I, now that I'm here, I want to like try ones that I can't get anywhere else. But yeah, love Stella, cold, cold pint of Stella. Thank you. Ooh, well this is this is a uh, look for debate really because I did the Pottermore test right, but then I and then I I think but then I did it again and I got a different answer. I guess that happens. You should probably just go with the first one. But I can't remember. I if I was to choose myself, because you are kind of allowed to choose, aren't you? The Sorting Hat says you you have a say in it, or you. Um, if I could choose, I would choose to be in Huff Huff Huff. Oh. Oh. crew. It's nice to have you in my house then. Oh, great. I'll see you. I'll see you in the common room. <laughs> which, is, which is never described, apparently. Apparently that's the only common room in, in Hogwarts that you never hear about what it's like. Is that true? Does anybody know? You know? Yeah. So it's a mystery. The Hufflepuff common room. What's going on? Why doesn't JK Rowling want us to know? What's happening? She can be very secret. Hey Jack. Hello. Yesterday you said you were fluent in Irish. So I, I told didn't. you. I did not say that. I said I'm terrible at Irish. I can't speak it. So I did tell you I would try to speak okay. Irish. So either I'm going to insult your mother, or I will give the compliment I wanted to give. So here goes. Is fear iotak tu? Oh, Karamil Mahmud. He said, is is far iotak tu, which means you're a great guy. Ah, uh, Anwar. Karamil Mahmud. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap. Jack Leeson.